this is actually here, I'm actually doing this now. So today, the aim of this video is to begin playing Shenmue. Well, I think it's like the 10th time I played this game. When I first played this game back in like 2001, shout out Ross, shout out all the guys from Hampstead who knew about this game and got me onto this thing, yeah? This was the one, fam. It was, uh, it was actually it's a game, I loved it. Uh, I want to play through it again because Shenmue 3 came out in November of 2019. I backed that game on Kickstarter. I advocated for that game when it, before it came out. I was I was so on this thing, yeah. And then it's been like nine months. I haven't played it. Just full on have not played it. I ain't touched it. It sat there. Do you know what? I'm afraid I even have it here. That's the thing here, fam. Man's got this Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2. Yeah. On top of that. And it's got the Shenmue, the Shenmue, two, the Shenmue uh, Japanese version. Wait for this, wait for this. Signed by Corey Marshall and that, voice actor. And it's got the Dreamcast versions, because we're from Europe, we don't do none of that. North American don't get the games too. Yeah. And it's on this. And finally, Shenmue 3. Yeah, which I have not yet played. It's still in the bloody wrapper, yeah? Check that. So, basically, the aim of the game is to, is to play through this first game which a lot of people disagree but I think is the best game ever made full stop period that's it I mean obviously there are other games that do different things better but I think I enjoy this game the most out of all games I've ever played and today is about just going through that playing for about an hour today is now it's just gone 10 o'clock at night UK time and uh, I'm gonna play for about no, about an hour or until my camera runs out of battery and then uh, yeah we'll, we'll pick up again next week but for now let's get started Do you know what? Even if this game, this game came out 20 years ago, okay, I know it's been uh, tidied up a bit and some of the text just ain't good, yeah, but look how good this game looks, yeah, for a 20 year old game. This came out uh -huh. around the time of the original yes, Final Fantasy VII. Yes, sir. And I know, Mo, if you're watching, yeah. Real son! You're playing Fuxa. quite a long ass cutscenes in these games, but. Let's just, let's just see, you know, if it's worthwhile actually watching them, you hear me? Because I think what the guy that made this game, Yu Suzuki, yeah, he made, I think, one of the first very cinematic looking games. When you come in and you see this guy with this bath, it's more of a kung fu flick. That's what I'm saying. Father! Stay back, Mio. Even down For to the, the last voice time, acting. where is the mirror? When I see Iowa now, I just want to start getting, start jumping on this, this health team, bro. Mm -hmm. Start getting the abs. Father, why you? Now then, no matter how often you ask, I'll never tell. Oh, Wait! The, the mirror! It's it's buried under the cherry tree. Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? Chao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swan. It can't be you! It's been over Get up. Years, yeah. 
Oh, I'll allow you to say. die like a warrior. Still don't know who he's talking about. Hoping, hoping she knew free with her. Exploring, walking through your town, talking to people, basically the shit you do in everyday life, innit? Yeah. Ryo, while you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. Time to hit the streets. So the thing is now, yeah, for going outside, I've actually been to this town. Like, I'll, I'll share the pictures one day in the air. There's an there's a article out there somewhere that I wrote for Venture Beat, covering all of this. But, um, yeah, I've actually been here. And it's just a dead ass little... Hey. Hey, mister! Town, it's just some suburban Wanna area. Play? Some other time, okay? It's like running around Kensal Green or something. It's like... Just people just living their daily life. That's it. What are these guys arguing about? You slept with him, didn't you? No, I did not. We were only friends. We only shared Instagram message. That's the same thing. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. Is Excuse that... me. Terribly that... sorry, but could you come back a bit later? Zyda Gang. Tamura-san. Hey, Ryo. Did you see... No, I didn't. Has that car got something to do with a suspect? Well... Oh, I remember the owner of the seafood shop talking something about a car. I didn't ask him for details, though. Thanks. Sounds I'll go and see him. What are you smirking system. about? I heard you've gotten brave, Rio. What? I knew you wouldn't just let this thing go. I'll back you up anytime. This guy is Thanks. the only Tony, this whole show. 
everyone else is like just dying around you. Oh, you mean the day it funded? And now the day, the day that guy came and murdered your family and you want revenge and I'm gonna back you. Only guy who says this in the whole game is a don. Let's go find this fish shop. What? But that girl over at Aida Flores mentioned something about it. That she got splashed with mud by a black car driving recklessly. Nozomi. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. I heard you were splashed with mud from a speeding car. It was black, and the kind of luxury car you don't normally see around here. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Tom at the hot dog truck. Now, are you ready for the best, the best Caribbean accent you have ever heard in your entire life? Because if you're about to hear it, first thing first, look at this movie. You, you can't mess with it. Like this. Tom. Hey, Rio! <laughs> yes, Tell That's me it. about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me. I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. <laughs> Tao san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that, but the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. To the barbers. You, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? Um, are you to you, son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki, from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Aji Ichi's Tao Sun suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also Imperial bodyguards? About Lan Di? I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel. Or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Do you know where the sailors hang out around here? They hang around everywhere at night time. They all go out drinking. Right. Hey, you gonna start a fight with them? No way, I'm not so like you. Hey, you can tell me, Rio. I know you're strong, but they're tough guys, so 
Don't underestimate them. I'll take care, don't worry. He speaks from experience so badly. Excuse me. Sorry, young. Could you? I legit want to see what this old man's going. But I ain't got time for you right now. Are we, son? Yo! I have something I want. I'm sorry, real. Is that so? <laughs> I got things I gotta do now. Do you know of any places where sailors hang out? Not many come in here, though. I'd assume that they go yeah, drinking filthy. around here. I see. Is it busy? Well, yes. Uh, Would you like something goes. to eat? We also have Look miso flavored walls. ramen, too. No way. They're a little rich, but not too strong. Yeah, next time for sure. So me, we'll see you then. Hard, Thanks anyway. anyway. Um, and I was like, okay, we want to get some food, and we've been cycling around, and we've got some bikes we're cycling around Tokyo, yeah. And I was like, no, I want to go to like an authentic place. I don't want to go to one of these like takeaway places, chain restaurants. I can get that anyway. Yeah. I want some authentic thing. He's like, ah, I don't know, man. And then we see this like ramen place. I'm like, it's some back alley ramen place. I've got to go there. You know what I mean? So uh, we went there. It was, we was the only customers, even though it was like lunchtime. And it is uh, it's like Japanese couple were there. We spoke enough Japanese to be able to get us by. And then uh, we're sitting there eating our ramen. And then. Alex, bro. What's that? Look over there. Just cockroaches running across the countertop. <laughs> and they gave me this look. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have eaten there. <laughs> Saying that, man, I worked in a Chinese restaurant and had cockroaches, so that's the whole next thing. My man, what is he doing? Are we sorry, done? Mate, Yo! I can't talk to you right now. I have something I want to ask you. I'm sorry, Rio, but I got some things I gotta do now. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> Well, see ya. <laughs> Just so much shit. So yeah, thanks again for checking this um, first little entry into the game. To be honest with you, I'll be playing through this game even if no one was watching. So whether you're checking this out, whether you're um, talking to myself in some weird echo space, I don't really care, I'm enjoying myself. So I will be playing again next Saturday and over the next month or two, hopefully we'll be getting into Shenmue 2 and then Shenmue 3. So uh, I'm excited for that. And I think I'm just going to let this little cinematic play out and then uh, end the game and end the stream so take care he shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea a young man who has yet to know his potential this potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will his courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity, I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. Fam. Just pure, unadulterated hype. See you next week.